Hello everybody. <laughs> I've just got my makeup done and I feel very different and awkward because I don't like lots of makeup. But I'm going on TV today, so that's why it's like this. And we're going on the project, aren't we? Yep. Aren't we? Got my makeup done too, as you can tell. No, I'm kidding. I wouldn't do that. <laughs> don't need to. Too beautiful. <laughs> I'm just making coffee. I'm kind of rushing because, yeah, I just got my makeup done. And Channel 10, uh, the project film crew will be here around, in around 20 minutes. And so we're going to do an interview with them. And then they're going to film us doing a protest out in the city after that. So we've got a big day and it's really exciting because for those who don't know, the project is like a pretty big platform. What would you call it? Oh, it's uh, just a, a show. Panel. It's a show like, like it's a panel show. Really. Yeah, they have a panel and then they do stories. Like the last time I watched them was when they covered on the crocodile expose of um, that the farm transparency project did. So that's the Dominion team and they exposed crocodile farming in Australia and the project actually did a story on that. So I'm assuming this is gonna be a similar thing, like they do have a panel and then they do like stories on certain things and obviously this is going to be similar to my Channel 7 Flashpoint thing that I did last year, um, where yeah, it was an interview and filming me protest. So, got the message on me, let's hope that it's actually on camera when they're interviewing me. Um, other than that, I don't know. I don't know what else to do. I'm just having my coffee. Does my makeup look okay? I feel really weird. It looks fine. Okay. <laughs> It's always so risky. I've only ever had my makeup done professionally. Maybe this was maybe the third or fourth time ever. And most times I come out thinking, oh, I don't know how I feel about this, but it's done now and there's nothing that I can do. I should have turned the radio off. I've got that stupid shit playing in the background. Sorry, Monty. Come say hello to Monty. <laughs> Monty's very sad at the moment because he's used to going to the beach. I have to be careful when I say the word because he gets really excited. Yeah, he gets so excited to go there and he's very depressed if he doesn't get to go. I'm sorry, Monty, but we're busy today. And it's raining. Sorry. <laughs> this is my nervous, nervous movement. <laughs> Do we have anything else to say? Um. What about the Tarka protest you're doing? Oh yeah, all right. Well, we will be filming after the interview, so we'll let you know after the interview how it goes. Unfortunately, we won't be able to film the interview ourselves. Um, but then we're gonna get ready and do a dairy protest. So I've done this costume once before. <laughs> mm. By the way, Bon Soy is probably the best soy milk. One of the better ones. For coffee, like best tasting one you reckon? Yeah. Or just for, in general. I don't know. Pretty good. I like it in coffee or whatever. <laughs> um, yeah, so I'm doing body paint as a dairy cow with blood across my neck to symbolize the murder of dairy cows and the male calves in the industry. And I'll have blood on my nipples to be symbolic to the sexual exploitation, rape, 
stealing of her breast milk to represent yeah what's happening in the industry and then I'll have my cow onesie tied around my waist so we'll film the process of that if we can it's going to be a little bit rushed but we'll try and get it filmed um, the process of that and then obviously I'll still get Jack to film the protest too and the film crew will be there as well so that's what Sounds we'll be good. doing later yeah other than that wish us luck for our interview, it should be really good. It's just an amazing opportunity to spread the animal rights message on such a big platform. So yeah, looking forward to it. Completely forgot to add in that my makeup artist was vegan and yes, vegan makeup does exist. Super cool, it was a complete coincidence. I was just like rushing online trying to find someone and then I asked this, this woman said, yeah, reached out to me and said, yeah, I can do your makeup for you. And I said, do you have vegan products? Otherwise I'd like to use my own makeup, please. And she said, yes, I'm actually vegan. All my products are vegan. So that's really cool that you can get vegan makeup. There's a little trick when it comes to buying like things like cosmetics and body moisturizers, whatever, is some of them might be labeled vegan but they can still be tested on animals, which I find ridiculous. I think but it's got to do with the ingredient list. Yeah, so it will be if the ingredient list is all non-animal products, they'll label it as vegan, but that means that that product could still have involved animal testing. So you need to make sure it's labeled vegan and cruelty free. So there's so it's actually truly vegan and vice versa. If it only says cruelty free, that's great, it means it wasn't tested on animals, but unfortunately it could still involve animal exploitation because the ingredient list has animal products. So it can get very confusing, but it's really good that there's an increased demand for vegan cruelty-free products, so it's easier to find that labeling when you're buying makeup and other body products. Yeah. So yeah, we're just getting set up for the interview. Just need a sign release form. G'day. Hello. Oh, hello. Hi. How are you going? I'm Sandra. How are you doing, Sandra? Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. This is Ben. Ben. Will. Ben. Will. 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 Yeah. All right, so just trying okay. to find some childhood photos for everything. Yeah. Interview first. So, yeah. Check them there. Right. I don't know what else to say now. <laughs> There's too much going on. My turn. How do you feel? Yeah, I feel good. Feel good. Just been waiting in your room. <laughs> With Monty crying? Monty crying. Because he wasn't allowed out. He was disrupting my interview. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but he was alright. He was a good boy. He could have started barking, but he kept yeah. quiet. Um, that was yeah. his dad on the phone. Oh, I thought it could have been. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, how did yours go? done with shooting for now. Yeah, so we've done our interviews, got some cute videos with Monty, and now they're going to actually film us do the paint job. So we might not actually be able to film that ourselves now, but it'll be in the actual story anyway. So that's all good. And yeah, 
went well. Let's do it. <laughs> yes, cool. let's get protesting. So I'm in my costume ready. Unfortunately, I had to use the nipple covers. Obviously, I'm going on TV, so I've got to cover the female nipple. I've got my paint set. See you soon. Ready. Yeah, so I'll do the base. So I'll do myself completely white. Yeah. And then I'll need your help eventually doing the back part. And then we'll do the cow pattern okay. afterwards. Yeah, so sure. So I'll probably just start up here. Yeah, start at your neck and then you do all the front and I'll help out with the back. Yeah, that's good. So do you want to just say maybe a little bit of why you're doing this? Yeah, so I've chosen this costume to raise awareness for the oppression happening in the dairy industry where dairy cows are raped and forcibly impregnated to become mm -hmm. pregnant and then after a nine month pregnancy when she gives birth her babies are often immediately taken away from her so her milk can be sold for human consumption and the male calves are often murdered just days to weeks old so in my perspective it's one of the most if not the most violent industries on this planet so i'm just using my body here to be you know I'll create awareness for those who have no bodily autonomy and i just think creativity is such an important part of my protesting it really grabs attention and obviously the whole topless thing grabs even more attention and i think what i'm doing is symbolic to what is happening in the dairy industry, but also other industries that are using yeah, animals, course. taking babies away from their mothers, subjecting them to violence, torture, and murder. Yeah, and what other kind of costumes would you tend to use? Um, another one that I use a lot is the slaughterhouse costume. So that speaks for itself. It's obviously symbolic to the murder of animals inside slaughterhouses. And yeah, it's very visual. I have the blood all over the white clothing. Yeah. Um, so again, the main purpose of it is to, what, just make people a little bit uncomfortable when you walk in. Exactly. And people symbolize the truth. People should be feeling uncomfortable. Yeah. It should be shocking. And yeah, the more controversial it is, the more attention it's going to get. And that's so important to spread a message yeah, and create awareness about what is happening in these industries. I just want people to know the truth because they do have the right to know what is happening and it's just so hidden from yep. the public eye. No one knows that this is happening in the dairy industry. It's just so well hidden. So sometimes you need to be shocking to get a message out there. Um, yeah, unfortunately I do have to cover my nipples because society has an issue with the female nipple. But, um, that's right, it's still, still using my body for the animals. Mm. How's that looking? Yeah, that's looking good. It's really quite thick coat already, so... Yeah, yeah, this is specifically body paint, so it's good. pretty good. Um, I will be doing it, yeah, pretty much all over my upper body, so I'll go right down and on my breasts, because that's symbolic to the murder and sexual violence happening in the dairy industry. Yeah, sorry, can you just tell me why you're using the blood again? I'm using the blood on my neck to be symbolic to the murder happening in the dairy industry. So not only are the male calves murdered, but all dairy cows are murdered at about five to seven years of age when they're considered no longer profitable to the industry. And I will be putting the fake blood on my breasts too to be symbolic to the sexual violence and rape happening in the dairy industry. Yeah. And obviously this is happening in all animal industries too, but um, in particular, the dairy industry. Great. Good. <coughs> Just going to stop for a sec. Take the tape off. No, no. no. I usually don't wear it, but I checked us. in with you guys right. to cover okay. it. Otherwise, I wouldn't yeah, okay. use it. Do you paint over the tape? Is he said you put sure. red blood to symbolise <laughs> red
this is the finished product. Looking good. So the film crew just filmed that whole process, got a couple of shots afterwards. And now we're just having a quick smoothie. Well, you've got yogurt and berries. <laughs> and then we're gonna meet them in the city and do the protest. So we'll get all of that on film and yeah, it should be awesome. Looking forward to it. Let's get it. Yes. So I <laughs> have some bananas, blueberries and soy yogurt. Very simple, but light on the stomach. So it's good just for us to go get out there and do the protest. This is homemade soy yogurt, which we made by um, putting a carton of store-bought soy milk into the pressure cooker, added some coconut yogurt that we bought from the store, added a little bit into that, press this, the yogurt button. Overnight, you've got yogurt in the morning. Mm. Oh wow, that actually tastes so good. Mm. Mm. Ew. I look really scary. You look beautiful. Scary and beautiful. <laughs> We're just going up to McDonald's now and it's a semi-disruptive protest but I will be standing outside for the purposes of the camera crew who are filming us um, and yeah it's just like an outdoor disruption really quite a bit of traffic coming around at this peak hour time so um, we'll see how it goes yeah The microphone's definitely working, right? Okay.
Can you handle the truth? Watch Dominion on YouTube and see what is happening in our own country to the most innocent and vulnerable, be uh, and vulnerable beings on this planet. <laughs> Europe. Hey, how's hey, it going? Just let us know if you have any issues with anyone, right? Yeah, sure. Um, I noticed that they were crowding around a little bit. So yeah. if you feel unsafe at any point, make sure you yell out. Yeah, um, I'm all good, thanks. Just be mindful that being in Mackins, they may ask you to come out. So yeah, sure. You're allowed to do it out here, it's fine. But yeah. just, yeah, if you're feeling unsafe, let us know, okay? Yeah, no worries. Thank you. Well, that was a very different experience. Um, usually, they'd be trying to ask me to move on, they'd have an issue with me being topless, um, but they were just concerned for my safety, so uh, they just said, if you have any issues, let us know. So um, that's a first for the police, so at least these guys are actually letting me exercise my right to non-violently protest, um, because I'll find most of the time there's a lot of resistance in the police force and they'll try and use ways to give me a move on notice which means I have to leave a particular area that I'm protesting in for 24 hours afterwards. So that's just awesome to see police just saying, look, if you have any concerns, let us know where um, we notice some kids crowding around you, but you're right to continue on. So that is a big change for, from what I'm used to. So that's great, yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah. So today I achieved, and finish that sentence for me. Sure. Today I achieved to bring a message about animal rights to so many people here, particularly the younger generations going into McDonald's. I'm here with my sign telling everybody to watch Dominion because they've been lied to and they have the right to know the truth about the abhorrent animal cruelty happening in these industries. And I've certainly got my message out there to many people today and hopefully a further reach later on with the video footage. And I spoke to a whole bunch of people as you were there, some of them saying, what a pain in the ass, what's she doing up there? Why is she here? She shouldn't be doing that. What do you say to them? Yeah, I say I'm just here to be a voice for non-human animals. All they need to do is watch Dominion on YouTube and they'll understand that why I'm here screaming and shouting about animal rights. And people are always going to be angry and triggered by the message, but that's just part of social change. What did the cops say? Yeah, well, it was a very different reaction from the cops today. They said, um, just let us know if you have any issues. We noticed a whole group of kids crowding around you. If you feel unsafe, let us know. Um, but yeah, usually... Can you turn the music off? Sorry. 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 Usually they'd actually have an issue with me being topless and they'd give me a move on notice straight away and I would question that and these particular police officers had no issue and they allowed me to exercise my freedom of speech in a non-violent manner which is excellent. It's something that you don't see often. Success today, yes or no? Definitely, it's very successful. Every time I go out and speak out for animals, it's always successful because even if one person listens to the message, that is a great success. Are you happy to say it was a successful day? Yes, definitely, it was a very successful day. People are now watching Dominion on YouTube and they're seeing the truth and hopefully they'll make those lifestyle changes. Message down the camera. If you're not vegan, you are an animal abuser, please watch Dominion on YouTube to see the truth because these industries are lying to you and this documentary is all Australian and ex exposes the abhorrent animal cruelty in these industries. Can I get you to do it again without mentioning Dominion? Just the sure. first part of it because they might yep. not use it and that's okay. what I'm worried about. So one sure. time without mentioning the doc on it. Okay. Sorry, just move, move a couple of steps. Just one more time, that sure. message down the barrel. If you're not vegan, you are an animal abuser, but this is not your fault. You have been lied to by these industries. Hold on, stop, sorry, let me just sort this. Okay, just look down the barrel and now tell me, tell me that same message. If you're not vegan, you are an animal abuser, but this is not your fault. These industries have lied to you. Please see the truth and see what happens in the meat, dairy and egg industries where animals are subjected to enslavement, rape, torture, abuse and murder. Beautiful. Got it.
to get that yeah. without yeah. Dominion? Yeah. yeah. Right. <laughs> it was difficult, <laughs> but I didn't mention it. Sorry, that's all I want in there, just goodbye. Yeah. I just want to keep knackers in the background, okay? Great. Right. Thanks, Mum. See you later. Bye. See ya. Now walk off. Walk off. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Just a wave and a walk. Okay. And wave to everyone, just wave to everyone. Meaning yeah. like, just yeah. out that way. Yeah. See everybody, watch Dominion on YouTube. Are we still going? Have we finished? I think so. Okay. Chris, get in. I'll take a photo. <laughs> They blocked me. Oh yeah, I should make another account. We don't have followers. I, I make another account and then they delete it. Yeah. So I can't use it. <laughs> Follow me on YouTube. Yeah, no worries, that's fine. So I've been hoping to see you since you did the um, the shop over there. Oh, uh, Louis Vuitton? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Have you been in there already? Yeah, well, I sort of just stood out the front. I've got a camera crew today, okay. so they're just filming me do a little thing out here okay. out the front. So not my usual, but it's still good. Yeah. Well, it's getting a lot of interest. So. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah it's right. awesome. Nice right. to meet you. Thanks. Maybe we hang around a bit longer? Yeah. As I yeah. say, don't let us stop. Do we need the light on? Yeah. <laughs> Me every time now. Okay. We've finished. What's the time? I think it's like past 5 p.m. So yeah, I think that protest went really well. Obviously, sometimes it feels a bit different because I'm used to just going in there, getting it done. It takes two, five minutes, sometimes less. But this one's obviously prolonged because you're sort of standing out the front. It's not as disruptive. You're not getting as much of a reaction, especially because there were heaps of kids. But obviously it's still brilliant and it's going on the project, Channel 10. So that's amazing. I made sure my sign was really visible. <laughs> and I made sure I kept talking about Dominion. Um, and got to have some outreach with kids but also people that were genuinely interested in the message too so yeah I think that's that's a wrap for that cool God, this looks so cool <laughs> eh <laughs> all right how did it go good mm. good good how did you feel filming yeah it's fine it was fun I guess it's easier when no one's attacking you, so you're kind of used to that life now? Yeah. Being undercover filmer or just filming outside Maccas, so... Yeah, it went really well. But um, yeah, the team were really nice too. They were All a the good cameramen team. and the Very interviewer. Very accommodating. They, um, they just yeah. wanted us to do what we normally do. They didn't want to change anything. Exactly, yeah. They just said, go ahead, do your thing. They let me choose my outfit, where I wanted to do it. They wanted it to be all about what we wanted to do for animals. So mm. that's really cool. Mm. So yeah. yeah, it should be coming up in a week. Obviously this, uh, it will have already been aired by the time this video is posted. Um, but yeah, we're really looking forward to seeing the final product. We think it's gonna be amazing. And as I said, I'm pretty sure it's on at 6.30, channel 10, like it's a really big platform, peak hour kind of time, so. We're gonna get hopefully millions of people actually watching this. Hopefully. So we're really excited. Yeah, that'd be really good. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Okay. Awesome. Good job. You Thanks too. For tuning in. Oh cheers.
bye